All right, Latasha, you know, it is just so amazing seeing this damage that we have when uh, Chesley, Andrew, and I were in the Storm Tracker Center the uh, last night, and we were in yesterday tracking these storms moving through. It's one thing seeing that hook echo on radar. It's another thing to see this damage uh, that was left behind. Now, Bobeth Yates was also with us with our storm coverage uh, in Thunder Truck following the storms from northwest Georgia down to the south of us. Bobeth joins us now. Be Bobeth, we know that the governor issued a state of emergency last night, but he had an opportunity to survey the damage today and is really initiating some response from the government now. Yes, that's exactly right, Chris. They, not just the governor, but Georgia Emergency Management Director of All and some other officials went up in an helicopter and got an opportunity to survey that damage. Now, the uh, GEMA's a director says it was difficult to see that damage from above, and he could only imagine what it was like um, being in the storm as it passed for residents. And now they're all coming together to try to help those people get their lives back on track. We know of people that were stranded in homes where literally the whole house collapsed and they were under the crawl space and you know we're trying to get to folks like that right now. Governor Brian Kemp alongside other state officials described the destruction left behind by severe storms that moved across the state Thursday and now the effort underway to recover. We've also got DNR, Department of Natural Resources and forestry chainsaw teams out across the state. Uh, lots of, uh, of roads blocked that are preventing uh, crews from restoring power. So we ask everybody to be patient. We got every resource that we uh, can possibly put on the ground. And to not disrupt those efforts on the ground, the governor and officials from GEMA, Georgia Emergency Management Agency, surveyed the damage by helicopter. Here's a look at damage from McDonough to Locust Grove and Griffin. The initial uh, viewing of something, it kind of takes you a second to absorb it all in. There's a lot of damage there, a lot of homes that we saw with roofs uh, torn off or trees on top of the homes, roads blocked, a lot of power lines down, still a lot of debris out there. I can't imagine the fear that was going through the folks that were dealing with um, being inside the homes at that time. So far, officials say there are two reported deaths, hundreds have been displaced, and their damage to homes and business across several counties. We also uh, brought in an RRT team from South Georgia. Uh, they helped with patrolling the streets to prevent any kind of looting, helping get power crews wherever they needed to get to, and we'll do the same tonight. Now, according to GEMA, at the height of the storm, more than 100,000 people across the state were without power. Now, officials are asking for patience as they attempt to restore service. Live in Fulton County, Bo Beth Yates, 11, Live News.